All right, in this video, we're going to finalize the turnip. So what we're going to end up doing is we're going to end up getting into the individual machines, the vManage, the vBond, and the vSmart. And what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and configure the tunnel interface configurations. Now, again, vBond's a little bit different, so there's going to be like one additional command that we're going to do. But hopefully, when we get this taken care of, what we should see is we should see our devices appear inside of our vManage console. And what I'm talking about is right here. Notice I have one vManage that's configured. I have a vBond, nothing. I have the WAN Edge, nothing. And I have no vSmarts registered with the system. So what we want to do is we want to fix that. So I'm going to go into my secure CRT session. I'm going to start with vManager. Now from the vManager, I'm going to go into config T. And what I'm going to do is I am going to uh, go into the VPN 0. And what I want to do is I'm going to go to that interface that we used. Remember, it was Ethernet 0. And what we're going to do is I'm going to specify my tunnel interface. And all I'm going to do is say commit and quit. Let's go ahead and do the vBond. Now, vBond, remember, like I said, it's a little bit different as far as the fact that it's kind of like a repurposed vEdge device. So I'll say config T. I'll say VPN0. I will say interface G00. And I will say that I want to do my tunnel interface. But in this instance, since the vBond is responsible for security, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say I want to use... Oops, I want to use encapsulation IPsec. Then I'll say commit and quit. So it says no modifications to uh, complete. So those were all in. Did the vManager already have it too? No, the vManager didn't. The vBond uh, says there were no, no configurations. Let's take a look at the vSmart. So we'll say config T. And from here, I will say VPN0, interface Ethernet 0. And we will say tunnel interface. And we'll say commit and quit. Now, the, uh, the whole object or the whole goal here was to try to get the devices to actually start appearing. And let's see if that has actually happened. Notice I have a vBond now. Let's see what happens. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to refresh this. I don't even need to. So here I have my vManage, I have my vBond, and I have my vSmart. So we have all three of our controllers are now green. They have little up arrows next to them, and everything is going to be working the way I want and need it to function. So again, it's a lot of movement, a lot of things that we had to configure. Some commands you're going to have to memorize. In fact, a lot of people just copy and paste them in order to be able to get things set up. And in the reality, like I said, with the zero touch provisioning, Cisco takes care of all of this for us. In fact, we don't even really, in most cases, have to even contend with the, uh, the, the vBond and the, v, the vSmarts. And they give us access to the vManage to do our configuration. So it's kind of a containerized thing. But in labs, you know, we've always kind of reverse engineer things sometimes. And, and the implementation of my SD-WAN configuration using the specifications of on-prem, which is what I've built here. I've, I'm kind of faking, I'm pretending I'm Cisco, but I actually have my resources on-premises with the rest of my infrastructure. It's just connected to the internet. Now, the biggest thing ahead of us right now is no, not going to be doing much of anything other than getting our extraneous vEdge devices registered. Now, again, it's going to require certification, it's going to require configuration, it's going to require some modification that's going to have to be made on a vEdge by vEdge basis. It's also going to require my Viptela serials file. So keep in mind, in each instance, you can go, you can go this far in the lab without having to have your own license file. In order to be able to actually add vEdge devices and get functionality, you've got to have license files. So if you can get your own, that's perfectly fine. I have the ones that I'm going to be using in this class, and I created about 25 of them that we will ultimately um, have available. We're obviously not going to use all of them. Every rack is probably going to use no more than four total, possibly five, but that's going to be a different license set because the if you take a look at the topology that I've built, so if I go in here and look at my 
Chrome here, what you'll see is, I'll, let me move this over to my desktop here. You'll see I actually have the on-prem controllers, which we've just set up. I have Site 101, which has two V-Edge devices located into it. Site 103 and 104 have a single V-Edge each. We have two traffic mechanisms that we can use, the internet, the one that we've been implementing thus far, and MPLS, which has yet to be built. And the possibility of a Site 102 would exist up here, and Site 102 will actually end up being VSR or CSRs, if I can get the XE SD-WAN image to actually work. So right now, I've just kind of got it open here as some blank space. But ideally, what we want to do next is we want to get these V-Edge devices up operational. And it's going to be very similar to the way that we did it when we were working with the controllers. Just a little bit different. And obviously, it's going to require us to have that license file. So that's going to be the next thing that we're going to entertain. And that's going to be adding the V-Edge devices and licensing the devices so that we can actually use them for labbing. I'm Terry Vincent, and I hope this particular section of the module has been informative. And remember, get your lab guides out and go through and do every part of what I've just done. In fact, this was kind of like my verification of what the lab guide uh, tells you to do. So I just wanted to make certain that it was going to be able to be implemented with no problems. So I'll see you guys in subsequent videos. And hopefully in the next episode, we'll be adding some functional V-Edge cloud routers. See you guys then.